Imagine a world where everyone is created to perform a specific task, when every gene that makes up who you are was artificially chosen. This could be the future with child engineering. Genetic engineering is the alteration of genetic material in living things with the purpose of producing a new substance or creating a new function. Scientists are able to alter the gene, then insert that gene back into the host cell. This technique requires three elements. The gene to be transferred, a host cell in which the gene is to be transferred, and a vector to affect the transfer. The process of genetic engineering is still a very new science, and there is a great divide about whether the process of changing an embryo's genetic should be allowed. Currently, scientists and fertility institutions are using embryonic screening for in vitro fertilization to prevent devastating diseases that the parents could potentially pass on. Initially, embryo screening targeted only severe abnormalities like Tay Sachs. Since then, we've started screening for many more, less serious defects, including diseases with late adult onset, manageable conditions like arthritis, and even easily treatable defects like cleft palate. Originally, embryonic screening or genetic engineering was only used to prevent fatal diseases to the fetus, but now it is being used for many more. While some may say embryonic screening would allow for cancers, genes, or diseases to be intercepted before the embryo was affected, the pre-implantation genetic diagnosis technique used by fertility institutes to test embryos before implantation in the womb has enabled thousands of parents to avoid passing on serious genetic diseases to their offspring. Every parent wants their child to be pain free and with genetic engineering in the future this may be possible due to the elimination of harmful diseases with the possibility to create a designer baby. While this may be true, genetic engineering is also a new science and can come with many risks. Yet fertility specialists are doing more than tiptoeing into a new era in which medical necessities is not the only impetus for seeking help. In the U.S., no binding rules deter a private clinic from offering a menu of traits or from implanting a woman with a collection of embryos. Physician who, physicians who may receive more than $10,000 for procedures serve as the sole arbiters of a series of thorny ethical, safety, and social welfare questions. The 33-year-old Sewell woman, Sulman, already had six children and her physician implanted her with six embryos, two of which split into twins. American Society for Reproductive Medicine voluntarily guidelines suggest that under normal circumstances more, no more than two embryos can be transferred to a woman younger than 35 because of the risk of complications. With the lack of regulations on genetic engineering and the growing desire for money, physicians will perform things they would not usually happen. They are abusing this idea for an increase in pay. While the process of child engineering may help eliminate harmful diseases, it can lead to abuse of the science and can lead to an almost robot-like future. Think about your life as a child. What makes you, you? Whether or not you look like your parents, you carry their genes. Genetic engineering would create a world where resemblance was a historic idea. I would like to thank the following people.